Previously on Lego Spongebob Undersea Adventures. Okay, class, may I have your attention, please? I want to introduce a new student who will be joining our class right now. Hey there, I'm Strike Piranason. I'm Pearl. Step away from me, daughter, you delinquent. I have a broom and I'm not afraid to use it. Daddy, put that broom down. Strike's not a bad guy. He's a good guy. Let's follow them to the park so I can prove that he is a bad boy. Let's stop at your dad's restaurant and then we'll give Plankton what he's been asking for. Strike is working for Plankton. And he's gonna give him the secret Krabby Patty formula. You snuck into me restaurant so you could steal the envelope which holds the... Uh... Health records for a pet amoeba? Uh, what? Because my mom is a veterinarian at the Bikini Bottom Pet Hospital, and I help her out from time to time. I'm sorry, Pearl, but if this is how your father acts towards other guys, then I, I, I just can't. I can't. Goodbye. No, wait, strike. Don't go. Come back. <laughs> wait, Pearl, wait. Wait. Just happened. <laughs> Come on, Pearl, you can't stand there forever. Yes, I can. But you still got the rest of your life ahead of you. I don't care. I'm not leaving here. Pearl, get out here right this instant. Just leave me alone. I don't want you as a father anymore. <gasps> what? It was shocking. She said she didn't want me as a father anymore. How could she say that to such a sweet man like you? Um, I'm not sure sweet is the right word for him. What? For once, Patrick the idiotic moron is right. What you did to that kid was awful. Yeah, Don Tootin, that was awful. Yeah, that was so uncool, bro. Totally. You're even worse than before. Disgusting. You big jerk. Yeah, Don Whippersnapper. You're sick and inhumane. If you're all are angry at me, then why did you all bother coming here? He's right. I'm not sticking around here. Yeah, me neither. May 3. Let's get out of here. No, come back. No, no. <laughs> it appears that your greed and your anger has gotten the best of you and has caused you to lose your customers. Why are you still here? Because I'm enjoying your downfall, Eugene. Get out of here! <laughs> This is getting way out of hand. Ever since that night, I've been losing customers and money. I wish there was some way we can help you, Mr. Krabs. Actually, I think Rocky can help you, Mr. Krabs. He wants you to come over at our house after work to have a talk about the strike guy. As if I'm going to have a talk with a teddy bear. Then I guess you'd rather lose more money. On second thought, I guess I'll go talk with this teddy bear of his. Here's a seat, Mr. Krabs. 
You two have your talk while I go off elsewhere and stay out of your way. Hello, Eugene. Eh. Uh... Alright, we're going to discuss some things about Strike Piranha Sam. No way! I'm not doing anything that involves that delinquent! Krabs, just listen to what I have to say. No way! I'm not listening to what some stupid teddy has to say! Oh, I hate it when people call me... A STUPID TEDDY! Alright, alright, I'll listen to what you have to say! Just don't maw me! Alright. I know it angers you that your daughter's hanging around with that kid, but does he make her happy? Well, yeah, I guess. And does it bother you the way he dresses? Yes, definitely. And did you thought it was a good idea to accuse him like that without even thinking about it further? Well, uh, no, it wasn't. Listen, Mr. Krabs. I know you don't like other people like Strike hanging around with your daughter because you think they're bad guys. But sometimes in reality, that's not really true. Sure, there are some guys that are bad, but sometimes they could be nice guys covered up in leather. That is true. And I know you love your daughter so much that you'll do anything to protect her, but there'll be coming a time where you'll have to learn to let her go. What? But I can't just let her go. She's me precious little angel. Listen, I know it's going to be hard for you, Eugene. I'm sure that every other parent has experienced this sort of thing with their children before. But Pearl's not a kid anymore. She's growing up. One day she'll be off to college, and after that she'll have a life of her own. She'll probably get married and possibly have a family of her own. There's nothing you can do but support her. Yeah, you're probably right, Rocky. Of course I am. And if there's someone she wants to marry, it's probably gonna be... Strike Piranison. Well, where am I gonna find him? He says he helps his mom, who works at the Bikini Bottom Pet Hospital. So... So I better go there, apologize to him, and bring him and Pearl back together. Thanks for the talk, Rocky! You're welcome, Mr. Krabs. Wow, this talk went better than I thought it would. Here you go, Mr. Mammelton. Your worm has passed his checkup. Gee, thanks, kid. I appreciate you and your mother's work. Come on, Solo. Let's go to Gula Goon and sunbathe. Arf, arf. Take care, and have a good rest of your day, you two. Uh... Oh, great. It's you. Hey there, you delinquent. I mean, young man. <laughs> uh. Strike, honey, what's wrong? And who's this man? Remember that man that accused me as a criminal when I was giving Mr. Plankton his pet's health records? Yeah? <gasps> you mean this man is him? Yep. What are you doing here? Come by to tell me to get out of town? What? No! I came here to apologize for what happened that night! <laughs> yeah, right. You accused me as a bad guy when I'm really just a shy guy who is worried he might fit into the town. But because I met Pearl, I feel more than I can fit into this town. And now you expect me to forgive you after everything you've done? I don't think so. <sighs> You're right, Strike. I falsely accused you without thinking things through. And because of that, I ruined your relationship with me daughter and possibly fitting in with the town. I can't blame you for being mad at me after something like that. I know it's gonna take you some time to forgive me. But just know that... I'm sorry for everything I've done to you and me, Pearl. <sighs> it is true, it is going to take some time. But if you really mean it, I'll forgive you. Me too. Oh, thank you, Strike and Strike's mother. We overheard the whole thing, and I forgive you too. Ditto. Who are they? Part of your family too? 
Yep, there's my little brother, Cody. Sup? My father, Horace. Hello. And of course, my mother, Lucinda. Pleased to meet you. How nice. But why don't we save the introductions for some other time? We've got a relationship to fix between you and me daughter. I agree. <sighs> Pearl! I thought I told you to leave me alone, Dad. I have some new shoes for you. We'll just leave them outside my door. Sorry, can't do that. Guess I'll have to throw them away. <gasps> no way! Don't you even throw those shoes away. Wait, what am I thinking? You're too cheap to even buy me some shoes. And why is he here? See, I brought him here to undo the mess I made that night. After what you did, you... I know, I know. I don't expect you to forgive me just like that. But after a talk with the teddy bear, I realized that I need to be a better father for you. So, will you forgive me? Hmm, I guess I could. If you buy me that infinity scarf I wanted for my 17th birthday. What? Er, uh, I mean, deal. Then I forgive you, Dad. Great! I'll just let you two be alone for a moment. Hey, so about what happened that night... Oh, don't worry about that, Strike. I understand why you did it. Yeah, so I heard Boys Who Cry is gonna perform their latest album at the mall next Friday. Yeah? And I was wondering if we could see it together? Just you and me. What do you say? <gasps> it's a date! <laughs> they grew up so fast. You said it, Eugene. You know, you're okay in my book. Mine too. Yeah, you did good. I agree with you there. Oh, oh you. You. What the... Barnacles, how long have you all been standing there? Long enough that we heard the whole thing. And we're all proud of you, Eugene. I'm half and half with your crabs. Me too. Well, Mr. Krabs, looks like you've done well and made things right. Yes, it appears I have. What? <laughs>